Hey guys, Private Jack here. And in this video we're going to discuss the tools required to import XNA type models. The tool that we're going to use is called XPS Tools by John07. And this tool is very easy to find on the web. All you have to do is launch a browser, do a search for John07 XPS Tools, and here we're presented with a big list. This link right here, all releases XPS Blender Tools by John07 GitHub page. If we click on that link, it'll take us to all the different versions that John07 has made for this particular tool. These tools are Blender version specific, and the one that we want is XPS Tools version 2.0.2, for Blender versions 2.80 and above. So I'm going to click on that link and it's going to download this particular tool and I have my downloads coming here to my desktop. As with anything I download from the web, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to send it through a virus scan. You always got to be safe. So here we can see no threats detected, it's safe and that means I'm perfectly willing to work with the download that I got. To install this into Blender all we have to do is launch Blender and the version of Blender that I'm going to be using is Blender 2.91. It's the alpha for the next generation that's going to come out of Blender after 2.90 is released in the next couple of weeks. So here Blender 2.91 to install, all I do is clear the splash screen, go into the Edit, Preferences, select Add-ons, click on the Install button, and point this file browser to where I downloaded that file at. And here it is right here. I select that zip file and click on Install Add-on. As soon as that add-on installs, it's going to present itself in the list and it's going to be in disabled mode. To enable it, I click on the little checkbox here and turn it on, and now XPS Tools is going to be available to me anytime I launch Blender, because I have autosaves turned on. If you don't have autosaves turned on, make sure you save your preferences before you close Blender, or the next time you launch Blender, the tool will not be available to you. I close off Preferences and I can find XPS Tools in two locations now. And there are other places where XPS Tools is going to be employed, but for now we haven't in, uh, imported any models yet. So basically all we're looking for is how to uh, where we would go to import a model. The first place, if I press N on my keypad, uh, my keyboard, It'll open up the transform menu. Right here on the sidebar, you'll find an XPS tab. I can click model here and it will open up a file browser where I can go and I can import an XNA model. Also, over here in the file import menu, I will find that there is an XNA LoRa XPS entry now. And here I can see the file types that I, this particular tool will open. So it'll open XNA ASCII 2, dot .mesh, and dot .xps type models. So that's all there is to installing uh, XPS tools into Blender. And we'll get into working with it in other, in other videos as I go through my new guide. So with that... I'm going to close Blender out, say happy porting, and say Private Jack out.